In this video, we'll learn a nice short technique for dynamically generating an element that has multiple attributes. If we look at this finished file in code view, within the body section I've got an h1 tag, followed by several paragraphs, an h2, and more paragraphs. However, when I run the finished page in the browser, you can see an image down here at the bottom. So this is the image that we will be dynamically creating with jQuery, and you can see that when we mouse over it, we get a little pop-up that says the USDA food plate. And when I click on the image, we get an alert box that tells us a little more information about the graphic. You'll need to open up the exercise underscore 2.html page, which is inside the chapter 6 generating HTML directory. Locate the script block at the top of the page, and you'll see the document ready function. Place your cursor inside that function, and you'll learn how to dynamically generate this image tag. So we use the jQuery method, passing to it, quoted, the name of the tag that we want to create, which in this case is an image or IMG tag. And here's where it gets different. We're going to place a comma there. And after the comma comes a series of curly braces. And it's inside these curly braces that we're going to place the value and the attributes that we want to assign to this image tag. So we'll give it a source attribute. We'll give it an alt attribute. And we'll give it an ID attribute. We'll give it a title attribute. And we'll even give it a click attribute so that we can write a function so that something happens when you click on the image. So obviously you probably guessed that this code is not complete because none of these attributes have values. The values go after the colon. So the source attribute is quoted and we'll be bringing in this image here which is a PNG file and we'll need to comma separate this list of values. The next one is the alt attribute and that's simply going to read the USDA food plate and don't forget the comma because we're not done listing attributes yet or their values and this value will be the same USDA food plate actually that'll be the value of the title so let's cut that and move that here as the value of the title the value of the ID shouldn't have any space bars, so the value of that will simply be food plate and don't forget the comma after that So we've dynamically created an image tag now with the following attributes, source, alt, ID, and title. And each one of these attributes has a string value associated with it, and it ends with a comma because we're not done creating this image element. What we have left is the click. And the click is actually going to be a function, so we actually write the function right here within a set of curly braces. So the function will get written here, and that function will simply be an alert box. We'll use the jQuery image to get the value of the element we're in, which is this dynamically created image tag. Then we'll create the attribute title and concatenate that with a string literal which says is from the USDA food plate website. As in previous examples, we're creating an object here the image we're creating, the element, the resulting image object, but we're not displaying it on the browser unless we do the append or append to methods. So we're going to close our curly braces now, and we'll do the append to method, and we'll append this to the body of our web page. So let's summarize. We're using the jQuery method to dynamically create an image element. To that element, we're adding the following attributes, source, alt, id, and title, to which we supply simple string values. And when we get to the click attribute, we create a function that pops up an alert box. We then append the tag that we made, because you'll notice that we haven't exited this code block yet. So this append to applies to our image tag, and we append it to the body of our web page. So let's save and test this in the browser. We should see the image, and when we mouse over it, depending on what browser you're using, you may see the pop-up with the USDA food plate on it. And if we click it, it invokes the function we wrote that pops up the alert box. In this video, you learned a technique that not only generates an HTML element, 
but also makes it very easy to add to that element multiple attributes and apply values to those attributes.